everybody, so today I'm going to be reviewing a really popular product that's called Tuna Pitilis 2010. Some of you might have the 2009, 2008 version, but I have the 2010 version. I'd like to thank Tuna Pitilis for sending me this product. So, let's begin. You can download this product for... Well, you can download the trial for free. 30-day trial, but I believe it's... Um, $50, 60 $60, $50. Uh, I don't want to watch that. So, let me see. It is $49.99 for the full version. Or you can upgrade from an older version of Tuna Pituris for $30. Which is really good pricing for this utility. Okay, so let's open Tuna Pituris up. takes a little while sometimes. Okay, so what basically Tuna Utilities is, is it helps your computer be faster and more reliable for you to use. So it gives you recommendations. They have a new feature called Turbo Mode, which I will go go into right now. So increase performance. I have five recommendations. For five recommendations to increase the performance of my computer. So I'm going to click on the five recommendations. Now let's see the recommendations they give me. So they're getting an overview with a quick analysis. So for system performance, I got two different recommendations. For internet setting, I got three. Nothing for visual effects. So let's go to that. So this is one for Firefox. It says Firefox installing an advertising filter. So it even tells you to download an add-on for Firefox to improve your system performance so would you like to install a free advertising filter ad blocker plus now yes I'd like to install it okay so it's gonna redirect me to download ad blocker plus I will download it start Firefox yeah this takes a little while I'm sorry Okay, there you go. So now I have Ad Blocker Plus. Thanks to Tuna Utilities, 2010. Okay, so there's one recommendation. Okay, so there's another recommendation for internet settings. Internet Explorer's web browsing allows you to specify minimum. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I fixed all the recommendations. So, visual effects, I had nothing. So, I exit that out. So, I don't have any problems. What well, was analyzed? Uh, I had problems. I well, was saying I had problems because I've never scanned my computer or my hard drive for errors. So, if you install TuneUp Utilities 2010, it also comes with a program called TuneUp One Click Maintenance. What that does is this little maintenance system tab let's go to all functions it does basically all of this all at once we for if you click on all functions you could just do one by one or whichever ones you want but if you click on click one click maintenance it does it all for you let's open one click maintenance now so as you can see it's clean the registry it's going to defect the hard drive remove broken shortcuts gain space optimize systems Start up and shut down, defragments a hard disk. It'll do all of that, so I'm gonna leave that open. So yeah, so this is the first time I'm running to Utilities 2010 again after I had to restart my Windows 7. So let's turn on turbo mode. It says right here, you can temporarily turn off all the functions and tests listed here without hesitation. No securely security related functions will be turned off next okay okay no I would not like to switch to classic windows design yes next Okay, that's it. 
Um, okay, I'm going to hit finish. And based on what I put, it should speed up my processes. Well, it should delete any old processes or processes that are not necessary to be ran. So that's not all what Tunip Utilities does. You can customize your windows now, so you can change your log on screen really easily. So let's open that up. So let's open Tunip Styler. And it says right here, log on screens. Now, barely 2010 version of Tunip Utilities. With you are now allowed to tweak Windows 7. So this is the log on screen for Windows 7 standards. So let's add from a log on screen file. I'm gonna go to wait, documents, and I will get blue matrix. So it's creating a preview. And please wait. So this is what it should look like if I hit apply. It should look like that. So I'm just gonna hit apply. I'm just gonna wait for the tune of styler to set up the log on screen. Now there you go. So now I have that. Now besides customizing the windows log on screen, you can change icons and all this other stuff, so I'll show you right now. You can change the desktop, personal folder, computer, any of these icons. So other things you could change, the file types, the control panel, icons, you could replace a name, or you could change it into category. I don't know what that really is, but appearance of icons. You could change this around, you could change the spacing. So you can tell. I'm just gonna put it back to forty three. So what if I put it to 500? But yeah, you. So what's really cool about this is, as you can tell, there's a giant arrow, a shortcut arrow is what it's called. You can remove that by hitting this little check mark, and it'll be gone. So I'm gonna hit apply. No, I'm not gonna log off right now, but I'll log off later. So you can reload icons and repair the icon cachettes or however you say that but I'm not gonna do that right now so yeah this is a really neat program I'm sorry this video is taking really long but I just want to go through this thanks to tune up utilities so this is a really great program you should all buy it or at least try the trial so yeah let's check on the one click maintenance it's almost done so it shows problems for the registry problems so yeah I'll just go over that later on after this video so I'll like to give one brief shout out to hackvid1 so hackvid1 he's a really nice guy I'll just put a link to his youtube channel in the description so let's go to it right now youtube.com thanks to him I have a channel box and what a channel box is it's something partners get YouTube partners they get a little box which says you can subscribe to you can put as many people as you want you can subscribe to them um, thanks to hackvid1 he got me this little cool hack so yeah if you try to message him he will not do this for you I'm sorry uh, he will not give you this little box this was just for me and some other people so yeah subscribe to hackvid1 he's a really cool guy so that's all for today thanks for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe